Hi, everyone. My name is Michael Yuasa. I'm the founder of Antarctic. We are a digital agency based in New York City. Uh, on the call, I have our technical director, Barani, uh, from Antarctic. And today we're going to be walking through how to show multiple color variants of a single product uh, on a Shopify collection page. And I'm just going to give a quick example of what I mean here. Uh, so this is a apparel brand called CDLP. And you can see that they have a black, white, blue, and olive um, variants of the same product on the collection page. And then when you click into any of these single products, uh, single colored products, you can see on the product detail page that they have uh, the different color variants. So there's a couple different ways to do this in Shopify, but I'll hand it over to Barani to walk us through how to do that. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Barney Nadirajan. Uh, I'm the technical director at Antarctic. Um, so as Michael said, we are going to uh, see about uh, split variants for a product. So uh, for example, I have uh, this product, this Jules Trousers New, and uh, we have like three separate tiles for this product. But once you go in, then uh, uh, we just show the one that, that the user clicked and uh, the user can change the variance here. So this is what we are we are taking as an example, and uh, we are going to uh, show code as well. So this this is mostly aimed at uh, giving you an idea to to develop a, a functionality like this by yourself. Um, we have uh, included a lot more other functionality into our code. So we just show the code so you will understand it, and then you can go and try by uh, yourself. So um, <clears throat> let's start with this. So the first challenge, like when we started with this, the first challenge that we had was to like, how do we um, add uh, multiple images per variant? Because Shopify just has uh, an option to add only uh, one variant, one um, image per variant. So if you see here, right, in Shopify, you have this variance here for this product. And uh, uh, you can just add only one, uh, one image per variant, so which will not suit for us. So what we did was we actually uh, explored all, like a few options and we, we settled with this option where you can uh, tag an image uh, based on color. So let's say uh, if, if this one is red, just go and uh, uh, set the alt text to red. So the same way uh, we did for every images. So for this product, we have few images which are like red, green, and blue. So if it's green, then we show it as green. And if it's blue, it's blue. So this way we have categorized the <clears throat> images. So once this is done, we are all set from the uh, backend part. That's all you have to do from a backend perspective. But then uh, there is a lot more from a code perspective. Uh, first thing is uh, we have to make sure that when we, uh, when we display this product, uh, as part of the collection, this product has to show uh, as three separate uh, types of products. Okay. So um, for that, I'm going to open my VS code. So this is our code written. So uh, I'm into the, into the collection template, which is the standard one for all uh, collections. So we just basically uh, get the products from a collection here. And then uh, we are looping through the uh, products, all products, one by one. So once we come to the product that, that we are interested in, okay. So what we do is we basically set the color index to zero. So this is just a, a way to uh, uh, indicate uh, what color number we are in for a particular product, whether it's the first color or second or third. So to start with, we are at zero. And then for that product, we, we go and get all the variants and we basically loop through all the variants. So we have to find out uh, the colors as part of the variants because when you take a variant, right? Uh, we usually have like colors and sizes. So if you see here, right? So a variant is a combination of color and size, but all we are interested here is to, to, to get the colors. So what we do is we, we look through the variants and we check if it's a, if it's a color. 
and then we get that and now once we get the color okay so uh, we get the variant color here and then we have to check because for for one color there may be different sizes let's say uh, small and large and medium so we have to make sure that we don't uh, show the tile uh, again for the same color for uh, for another size so what we do is we check here if the variant color changes if the variant color stays the same let's say for for blue uh, blue small and blue large for both these variants the the size changes but the color stays the same so uh, we check that actually so if the color doesn't change we just show only one tile if if it changes then we we move to the next step showing the next step so that's the check that we have done here and then once we we have done that and once we have decided that yes we are going to show the tile then we go and find out or pull all the images for that particular color so here what we do we are doing is uh first we assign the image count for the color zero so let's take it's red now so for red right now it's zero now we we, we basically look through the the product dot media which has all the images not just for red but everything so inside that for each image we check if the alt alt name matches the variant color so you remember we set the alt text for the images as red blue and green so we check whether the images uh, match the color that we want if the images match then we basically pick it okay so now here we we basically get a count of all the all the red color images that are uploaded so once we get the count then we have a condition here we are checking if the color index is 1 that means if it's the first color for the product then we show the tile or if the image count is greater than 1 that means if it's a second or third color then the image count has to be greater than 1 then we basically show the tile so this is just the standard uh, uh, um shopify um snippet which basically displays that tile so we are including that here but the entire logic uh, resides within within this one so once we do that then we show the tile then again it goes goes to the next color whenever the color changes here so we basically change the um color here so once it changes here again we show the next tile again when it changes it shows the next tile and then it again it loops to the uh, next product and it it goes on so this way you you basically uh, um modify your your collection logic to show different tiles for the same product based on uh what type of images you have uploaded into your media for the product so now we have we we have uh, completed the first part of it where we showed all these three so now you see like we have juice of this new right red green and blue and then after that we are showing different products the other ones so let's go into one okay so when we go into one uh, I'm going to minimize this. Okay, so when we go into this one, right? Uh, we see here uh, the the product image, and then uh, we have options to uh, see uh, all the images in in expanded format. So um, for this, what we are doing is uh, we are using an open source uh, library called Swiper. swiper js so this is uh, actually an open source one and it's a, it's mit licensed so uh, you can use it there are a lot of a uh, lot of different variations that they are given a lot of variation that that they have here for uh, this one so uh, just use this one and what we have done is we have used the swiper here in 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 like two different ways one is there is a a vertical swiper which which goes uh, from top to bottom and from bottom and uh, and vice versa and then there is this uh, horizontal uh, swiper along where uh, 
you can just swipe the images here. So this is there as well. So there are these like two swipers that we have used. And then we have this uh, this swatch here, this color swatch where we, we basically have uh, these uh, three colors for that one. So let's go and see how we are uh, we are coding for this. Um, for this, we we are uh, using the product template in Shopify, and in product template, uh, I'll just show you uh, what we have done. the The concept here is is to first uh, you set the um, the swipers for these two and achieve this functionality. So once this is done right, then um, Okay, so once this is done, uh, what we are doing here is, we are basically, uh, again, like looping through all options uh, in a product. And then uh, we are checking if the option name is color. Because as I said right earlier, your option can be color or size. So we are just checking if the option is color. And then for each color, we are basically uh, having three uh, placeholders. Uh, so this is the data tab, so tab, and then here we open the color value here. So it, it, it can be tab red, tab iPhone red, tab iPhone green, and tab iPhone blue. Then on click, we are we are calling a method called set variant images, which, uh, which changes uh, the, the images based on what, uh, what swatch was selected or what color was selected. So once you set this right, so um, now this basically is to achieve, this code is to achieve this one, these three. So once you get these three, now on click what happens is, on click of red, I have to hide the, uh, like hide the blue or green and, and then show the red. The same thing happens on on click of blue. So what we have done is we have, we already have um, like created all the all the um, swipers for the three colors, but we have just hidden uh, the two, and we are showing one. Now, on click of any color here, uh, we are calling a, a JavaScript method. So that basically hides the rest of the two and shows the one. So this code basically does that. So it basically like removes, remove class and active tab. So it just removes the active tab and then it sets the active tab as the current one. So this, this basically uh, hides the, the, the previous one and then uh, activates the new one. So that way uh, we, the user gets to see the, the images for the color that they selected. Plus we have also like use some animations, uh, like some like subtle animations so that the transformation is uh, looks good. So this is one thing. Another thing that we have, we had to do is to um, basically call the set variant images method. As I, sh as I showed you here, there is on, on click, we call the set variant images and the set variant images method uh, it just initializes the swiper. So let's say if, if we are selecting the red color, then it has to initialize the swiper for the red color. So for the selected color, it just initializes it. So we have, like, as I said, like we have like two swipers, one, one for the thumbs on the left-hand side and one for the, the main one for the larger image. So we have these two swipers, which we are initializing. And then once this is initialized, uh, then it just uh, uh, works. So I just summarize um, uh, what I uh, told you. Um, all we have to do is uh, to first set your, or like categorize your images. Um, so set, set all text for all the images. And once you're done with this, uh, then you make sure you have the, the variance 
set. So this is normal functionality which you have already done. So you see here we have red, green, and uh, blue variants for this product. So once you're done with this, then uh, you go to your collections and then um, in your collection template, you just uh, make sure uh, you actually identify the number of images that you have for each color. And based on that, you show the product. And for that, you have to um, use your collection template. And once that is done, you go to your product template and then you, you have like, like three divs or like three tabs and just show one and, and hide the rest. And then uh, inside each tab, use the swiper JS to, to achieve the, the swipe functionality. So with this, I think you should be able to achieve uh, um, this split product variant. And I hope this session was useful. Thank you. All right, thanks, Bronnie. Um, if anyone has any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below the video and we'll try to get back to you. Uh, and one other note is we're using the debut theme, which uh, I think I forgot to mention at the beginning. So, uh, all right, thank you again. Thank you.